So welcome uh, to another video from ShopCal Software. We're going to be going over uh, the HTV matrix uh, for the HTV pricing that is going to be in the upcoming uh, Quick Quote uh, 4.0. Um, in the matrix, uh, a lot of you that may have already have it know that you can have as many matrices as you want. Uh, so, uh, you know, you can set these up uh, and have different settings uh, to base it on different customers. A couple things that we want to we want to know here is that uh, in the in the uh, HTV vinyl uh, pricing, which works differently than most other things that you're going to price out there, we're basically going to set up multipliers across here. And like for one color, I have it set at seven. And two color have it set at two, and three color at two, and then and so on and so on down through here. Now, in some spreadsheets, uh, if you've used them out there or you've seen them, uh, if you can even see the multiplier to where you can change it, uh, you probably notice they're they're a lot higher, uh, and that's because they look at the pricing differently. They're looking at building it off of your cost instead of a cost that you've set to the customer as a base price over in the HTV catalog. Uh, utilizing the way that Quick Quote uh, 4.0 Advanced uh, does it uh, allows a, a lot more flexibility on the pricing. We're actually going to be using the pricing set to the customer uh, over in the HTV catalog. So if we come over here, uh, we have in here where we put in, um, let's just go up here to Thermoflex Plus. Uh, we've got the white uh, we put in that we bought a 15 foot, uh, fifteen inch wide by 30 feet long roll and we paid $65 for it. We're not throwing any shipping in there. It tells us our cost per square inch, our cost per square foot. We're going to mark it up 200%. This is a square inch cost that we're going to, uh, base price that we're going to charge a customer and the square foot base price we're going to charge a customer. Uh, on that based on the 200% markup. So in the matrix and over when we get into the actual pricing uh, on the uh, quote and invoices, it's gonna build the pricing based off the square foot to the customer. That allows you to make fine tune adjustments right here, which you cannot do uh, in a lot of the spreadsheets that are out there. So we uh, basically you know, have this and we're gonna build off this. We come back over here to the matrix. We've set up our multipliers across here. We set up our percentage discounts down here uh, based on the quantities. Uh, the top one, you always want one and zero uh, because it's going to utilize this straight across and you, you want to do that. There's no sense in discounting uh, on there or starting with anything less than one. Then as we come up, we've got a five and 15% and so on down the road. Over here, this is fixed price services. This would be where you're going to charge a specific price for something, like a name on the back. Here we've got $7. So when you're out in the uh, uh, quote form to create the quote and the invoice, you'll just select uh, that that particular uh, line item, you're going to put uh, heat transfer names on the back, and it's going to apply $7 uh, a shirt to it to do that. Uh, to where you don't actually have to get in and select anything. You just say, this is what it's going to do. But let's get back down to the actual meat and potatoes. Because we're using multipliers and we're using percentage discounts, we don't actually have a, a whole matrix built here we can see. We have what's called a what if. And the what if is, a, is an extremely powerful tool in uh, that it allows you to see what uh, a particular vinyl at a particular width and height on a design uh, would end up being the design price to the customer, the actual final design price to the customer based on your multipliers and your percentages markup and the price to the customer uh, per square inch of that particular vinyl. Uh, so this builds this particular grid here based on that. So we've got the Thermoflex Plus Blue at 12 by 12 with that price out to it. Uh, that actually at a 12 by 12, which is 144 square inches times that equals to 347. We come up here, we take that 347, it's multiplied by 7, we come up with a 2427. So this would be the 
one, that one color vinyl design at a 12 by 12 price that we would add to the shirt. These prices here do not include the shirt. The shirt is added and marked up separately. There again, the reason that we do that with Quick Quote is we want to allow extreme flexibility. Nobody prices the same. Uh, they have different uh, markups and things. And if you're down limited to just, oh, I'm going to double the shirt cost and uh, I'm just going to always base it off my cost of the vinyl to this, uh, you're pretty well locked in to uh, whatever the spreadsheet uh, designer uh, put in there. Uh, with quick quote, all of these settings are totally adjustable by you. And the what if is to give you the quick look down here. So we've, we've laid in eight colors of vinyl. Like I, I doubt you'd ever put eight colors on, on a particular shirt. But anyway, if we came down through here and we said we were going to put all eight colors on, on the shirt, it's a uh, uh, design price of 5110. We're putting all these eight colors on the, and with these sizes. It, this allows you to really quickly see that. And you can say, yeah, that looks good to me. Or, no, it doesn't. You can come up here and adjust something. You can come up here and do, well, I want to go eight. You know, and we do eight. And you'll notice that all these figures immediately change. We want to go back to seven. We don't like the eight. You know, we could do the same thing over here. We can, we can change. Uh, let's do this, this one down here. And uh, which will change his bottom row, and let's just take it to 75%. Uh, and you'll notice the bottom row is now changed out to discounting. So, real quick, you can, you can see what's going on. If you want to start over and use different vinyls or whatever, I mean, you can come in here and do different vinyls. You can just select a different vinyl. And the minute that I select a different vinyl, it zeroes out the entire thing because this was the first vinyl it has to be there or it's not going to calculate anything else out here. And we're going to then come here and come custom yellow. The minute I put a color back in there, it picks up the pricing and goes. If I want to just start off fresh, I hit the reset button. And now I've cleared everything out. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to say I'm going to take a metallic design. I'm going to use a antique silver. I'm going to do a 12 by 12 design and we now have this pricing here based on all that information. And we've got this 395 and we've got this 197. And those come from right here. If we go to the Thermoplex deals, we've got the antique silver. Our cost is $1.97. And we're charging the customer a base price of 395. So if we look over here, those are right here. So you get a quick view of your cost the base price you're going to charge the customer, and then what the final design price is going to be charged to apply to the shirt. Again, remember, these prices are added to the shirt cost. So if you've got a $5 shirt uh, that you, uh, cost that you're selling to the customer, you're going to add, it's going to add the $5 to this over in the quote form. It won't do it here. This is just a scenario deal for you to see uh, quickly what different vinyls uh, will end up uh, being charged out as based on these figures and the figures over in the HTV catalog. Uh, so anyway, uh, stay tuned uh, for the release of Quick Vote 4.0 with HTV pricing in it, and we'll do some more videos uh, on it uh, later uh, prior to it coming out. And uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it piqued your interest. And until next time, thank you.